Well, good morning, good afternoon, whatever it is for you. Uh, we are down at the dealership right now and we're gonna show you some, some new tractors we're selling and a couple projects we're working on here and there. Uh, a lot of my free time recently has been working on stuff that I can't really film. So um, that's not a very good excuse for a eight month delay, but that's what you're gonna get. So let's, uh, let's check out these new tractors and we'll show you what we're working on and we got some new stuff at the farm too, so stay tuned. Well, John, we just took on this new Select Track tractor line, and that uh, it's not a tractor for everybody out there we deal with, but a lot of farmers and a lot of uh, homeowners, a lot of ranchers, a lot of equine facilities, a lot of municipalities have real use for this. This particular model here is, is a 25. Uh, we have a 45, and also we have a 75 narrow version, which would be ideal for orchards and that. But uh, this tractor will run about nine hours on a loader, loader application. Uh, it's got a real nice loader. It's got uh, the universal skid loader mounts. Uh, what I like about it, you can take this bucket off and uh, mount a set of pallet forks on there for say a small business that had some use for both a bucket, moving pallets and odds and ends. It's a real universal tractor that'll do a lot of different things. You could put on a, a grapple or Whatever you, whatever you put on a skid loader, you can basically put on this tractor right here. The nice thing about this is zero emissions. If you are in a, a warehouse, a equine facility, any type of building where you don't want any diesel or gas fumes, it's, it's absolutely emission free. Uh, very, very quiet. Basically all you hear is a hydraulic pump running. Uh, uh, handles like a dream. It's available with these turf tires or egg tires. Four wheel drive. Standard equipment. It's got basically a, a high, low, and medium range on it. And then three ranges up here you can switch in addition to that. Uh, a throttle or speed. You can lock a speed in a certain, a certain, a certain speed. Uh, like a cruise control, I guess you'd say. Uh, uh, the loader's got about 1,400 pounds of lift capacity, which is equal or better than most of the competition. We've got a 540 and 540E uh, PTO, which uh, makes it very nice for uh, for certain mowing applications and that. Uh, you can run two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Yeah, Joe, going around to the back of the tractor, John, we've got uh, uh, one uh, dual outlet that comes standard with the tractor, uh, toolbox, uh, uh, standard category one or category two, three-point inches. All you do is reverse these balls so a lot of people have a mixture of equipment it'll work with either one the drawbar three point inch arms spread out to accommodate either what i really impressed here this is a this is a drawbar that comes with it uh, that's equivalent to anything we sell in 100 horsepower in a lot of applications in foreign countries these tractors are used for towing and uh, they've got tremendous torque uh, it's electric motor you got to figure electric motors develop high torque at low speeds and that so this tractor will actually spin the tires in high range when you uh, push the pedal all the way down yeah basically here John we've got uh, uh, a forward and reverse switch when you go want to go forward you naturally flip it up in the F when you want to go to reverse you come around here tap the brakes as you're going through put it in reverse so it's basically like a hydrostat now we also make a hydrostat model and that but uh, really, I don't see it being that necessary because this is just basically acts like a hydrostat for, for less cost. Differential lock is standard equipment on it. These are your brakes here. You tap them basically when you switch from forward to reverse. <coughs> um, receptacle right here for charging. Now it, you can charge it with either a 110 or a 220, but I think most homeowners and municipalities are just going to use 110 because it'll charge on a 15 amp breaker, now think about it, that's low amperage, 15 amp breaker in, in eight hours. And that, uh, so the power requirement is not that much. Uh, if you need to charge faster, we also offer a 220 uh, charge plug on it. To open hood, John, you just release this lever here, pop the hood up, and there's your power plant, your battery. Uh, the battery has got a seven year prorated life uh, most of them last uh, 10 years and that uh, uh, 
when you overhaul this unit, you figure a gas or diesel engine, you're talking thousands of dollars. With this, basically, you're going to replace it with a, a battery and engine's overhauled and ready to go back to work. Another thing I really like about this tractor is, look here, there's no radiator. There's no water pump. There's no problem with dust and grass choking us up, which is a common problem we see, especially in the months of July and August when people are mowing in dusty, dirty conditions. This radiator will choke up a couple times a day, and we see a lot of engine failures just because they're not serviced off enough. This totally eliminates it. Basically, there is very, very little maintenance on this tractor. There's no oil to change. Uh, there's no radiator to clean. Uh, uh, basically, it's plug and play. Unplug your outlet and get on it and go. John, and see how quiet it is. That's 4 RPM. And you and I are having a conversation here. And that, that gives you an idea. <clears throat> if you're mowing around a, a business or a school municipality situation, you're not going to disturb anybody. This is wide open, right there. Very low noise level. No emissions. 50 pounds hydraulic capacity on the bucket. together and all the dings and dents straightened out of it. Uh, new cab interior, all new hoses and wiring and you name it. And, uh, about ready to go. I was going to check for oil leaks the last time and this motor right here just split the Charlin motor on the steering, just split the end out of it and we had all oil over everything, our, our new paint job and, and so uh, supposedly we've got one of these coming here shortly. Uh, but uh, uh, it's been a challenge. Uh, uh, a lot of it was just it was just in such disrepair. Um, battery box was totally rotted off of it. Spenders were kinked down against the tires, and uh, uh, it was just it need a lot, a lot of work. But uh, we're about there now. We get this steering motor on it and uh, give it a trial run and get some duels on it. And I guess we'll be ready to go. This is an FW60 we've been working on uh, this spring. Uh, like the AC, it's had a lot of problems. It had absolutely no hydraulics at all, no steering or nothing. And uh, uh, one of the motors had come apart, and iron fines were everywhere in the so uh, we're trying to work our way through that now. Uh, needs cab interior today, uh, and really needs rubber. But uh, uh, we should have this ready to go by fall. So we have quite a few new additions on the farm here too, and I'm standing uh, in, front, in front of one right now. Uh, we just recently put up a new 100,000 bushel bin. We had a group of guys from Easter Island come and put it up, and boy, they were quick. Uh, from start to finish, they were here Monday, and this whole thing was put up by the end of the day Thursday. They were very, very quick and very efficient. And we just recently, uh, here this week, uh, they just dropped off our new grain leg, and we can talk about that another time. But 
basically we're running a new leg next to the dryer so we can take the corn straight from the dryer um, to these bins without having to run it over the uh, over the driveway to the old leg and then back over again so it'll be much more efficient and we'll be able to use our legs um, legs and pits much more efficiently and be able to run corn and beans in the legs at the same time so I wanted to end the video here back in the sawmill and if you notice behind me we are missing a piece of equipment we took our edger to uh, the Greenville show actually one of the guys that runs the Greenville show came and picked it up and we're letting them use it at that show and actually grandpa and I will be there uh, Friday and Saturday to help run their sawmill um, so if you're gonna be in the area the Greenville show uh, is very good it's it's a very good show they very nice sawmill they did a lot of work to it recently and uh, we're gonna learn a lot from those guys but also we are finalizing our show for 2024 so if you want to go to 100 years of horsepower.com and check it out uh, all the information will be updated there pretty soon um, we have a lot of new stuff uh, we'll have the Illinois draft pullers Association there they're gonna do a horse pull we have a bunch of new new tractors versatiles Deutz, uh the solar tracks that you guys saw earlier the electric tractors uh, we'll have a flea market farm toy show uh, the sawmill, rock crusher, plowing, everything at the last show, but more. It's going to be huge. And we'll also have the largest uh, single owner Keck Gonnerman display as well. And that's going to be uh, even bigger than last year. So, uh, yeah, check out the website if you guys want to know more uh, or drop a comment down below. I'll answer any questions and I will see you at Greenville. I'll do some videos there and, and I'll see you there.